All right, we've spawned in. We've got some eggs and a little campfire. Can we talk to these guys? Talk to Shell. They're sleeping. Oh, the three. Mother and daughter. Dead keep guard. What is happening? Cave. Talk to Coil. Orin, looks like you finally woke up from that pre-journey nap. So today's the day, huh? Seems like only yesterday you learned how to boost. Now you're here ready to face the adventure that lies ahead. You're all fueled up and ready to go. Just head down the path. TM, when you're ready, you'll know what to do. Okay. Get going. What the heck? This is cool. It's like a fade-in of uh, the path. Checkpoint reach. This is insane. Dob, is that how you say your name? Maybe? Dirty Dob. This looks incredible. Check my reach again. So I guess we just go along the path for now. It's more of like a story, he said. I mean, there is some challenge to it, but at some at some point we're gonna we're gonna see that. Right now, I think we're probably gonna go over the bridge. Yeah, there it is. It's going along here. Very nice. This is uh, actually surprisingly peaceful. Just gonna keep going along. I wonder if you can actually like reset. Like I wonder if it's if you can drop the ball. Here's another checkpoint. Oh, I almost died. I think the ball can fall right now. I'm not sure though. Do I test it? I don't know. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume as much, and not not die if I can try, because it's pretty pretty long checkpoints. It looks like. Yep. Yeah, you can die. <laughs> I have to say the background environment looks really nice. Like the the mountain in the background there. It's super super cool. This so far seems like a, a a map that lower level players could probably try if they want to learn dribbling. And it also has a nice little story involved. So we've got some curved walls here or, or floors. I'm sure this took him a long time to make. I've never actually seen this guy make a map before. I don't I don't recognize the name. If uh, you have made something different before, uh, do correct me in the in the, the comments, but I've never seen his name before, which is really cool. This is a really neat first map experience. You can get some pretty interesting first maps. So my first map was not good at all. It was <laughs> actually, I should probably revisit that one because it's pretty funny. I think there's a gap here, it looks like. Oh man. Okay. So we're introducing some new elements. We got to jump. Still, I would say we're at the level of, you know, manageable. What is that? Wait, what, what, what is that? Oh, I thought it was a cave. It was just a rock, a darker rock. So far, we're at very manageable levels of skill for, I would say, anywhere from maybe high gold. Oh, there's a log. Oh, gosh. It's So far, it's pretty chill. I see another one here. I wonder how much it's going to ramp up, though, because this is pretty early into the, the challenge still, I would say. Another jump right here. Oh, I don't think you can stand on this. Oh, you can. No! Oh, the the floor, man. The, the low poly aesthetic, uh, uh, aesthetic is always really nice to me. I, I really like the low poly look. Especially for Rocket League for some reason. It just it just works. There's a really old map uh, called King King of the Hills. Um, or Kings of the Hill. I can't remember which one it was. King King of the Hill. Um, that was low poly. And I really like the look of it. Probably got a checkpoint here, I would imagine. Coming up. Surely. One thing about dribbling is that you really can't see around the car. Oh, what is this? Do we go under? Do we go over it? I guess we go over it. Maybe something like this. That works. I could have air dribbled over it too. I really love this idea. And I think that more people should try to create something like this where it's a continuous stream. There's a bit of a journey. And it's um, adding, like, the dribble challenges right now that we're used to, they just have level after level. This feels more like a continuous stream of of a challenge, and I really like the idea of it. Uh, I was expecting more of a story, though, throughout the, the actual thing. But I guess we want to keep the dribbling going. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, I love the foggy feel of this. 
and the the palette the color palette was a was a good choice i don't know if this is the ball can go through this or not oh this is cool oh checkpoint nice pretty comfortable so far put some nice like we'll have some nice peaceful music in the background of this because it's very uh very calming whoa 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 whoa! what's going on here though is it a ramp oh okay i see i see i think we have another checkpoint here no we don't it's it's a turn oh no <laughs> Look at this view. All right, let's take our time. The slower you go with dribble challenges, the harder it is sometimes. I think it flattens out right here and then it turns. Yeah, this is a bit more of a... There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Okay, we're ramping up a little bit. I just can't see where I'm going, so hopefully... I see a ramp above me. Looks like we're doing a thin turn right here. Looks like another checkpoint. Okay. This is Kato's worst nightmare, these turns. Very good, very good. All right, we did it. We're still not done though, there's, there's still a checkpoint. I really don't want to die here because it's like another like 30 seconds of playtime. Okay, here we go. Checkpoint. Oh, okay. We're getting the little blocks. Like the verticality. Like I said, this isn't anything too difficult from what we've seen in dribble challenges, but um, so far it seems very, very peaceful and very calming. We've got a... Is that a wizard? What does this say? Talk to the Wanderer. You've made it far, but your journey's about to get more difficult. The ruins of the ancient temple ahead lead to a secret pathway into Mount Kadura. Hopefully I said that right. The door can't be open the, the door can't be opened by conventional means, but the royal family crest on each side might have something to do with it. I probably should have read the rest in case he had more to say. Let me see. Maybe you have something they'll respond to? The ball? It sort of looks like a ball. <laughs> Let's see. Do I hit the target? Did I hit it? It's glowing. Yep. Do I just go in there? I can't turn. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, this is neat. Is this a pit? This is a pit. Okay, here we go. Interesting. Neat concepts. Are we bobbing and weaving? Oh gosh. <gasps> no, the, the 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 pillar. Okay, so we just gotta do tight turns here. I didn't realize it was gonna be a, a 180 or right here. Nice, nice tight turns. Very good. Oh not under oh boy. Okay, that's the end right there. So we're moving into a higher difficulty here. I see what he's saying about it's getting a lot more difficult. Um it's not too too hard once I get used to the spacing. Yeah, it's not too bad. But we still don't have a checkpoint yet. So this path leads over to the mountain, which I can see ahead of us right here. I can't see anything in front of me. Oh my, okay, we're going down here. Very nice. We got a checkpoint. Wait. Let's do some scouting. Oh, cool. So it kind of like loops around. This is a really neat path. 
I love the look of the little glowing cave crystals. Wait, where is this going now? Wait, this is like what? <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Let's just let's just figure it out as we go. I saw. I did see a small uh, window. Or not window. I saw one of those um, crests again. So let's uh, take our take our ball over here. Now there was a split. I went to the left with the ball and there was a thing at the top. So we'll go this way, but I, I, I do want to go back and venture to the right as well and see what's over there. Huge, huge kudos to the creator of this dirty dog because it, it's, um, it's nothing like we've seen before in Rocket League. Okay. Got to check one. Okay. The other path went right there. Now do I have to hit this? Cool. Nice little glowing crystal lake. Whoa. Okay. We can hit that. Oops. Really neat. So we're going to probably travel through the whole, the whole cave. Oh boy. Well, bye bye ball. Go a little slower. It's okay. Should be good. Wait, wait. Oh! What? <laughs> um... Not fair. I got cheated. Well, I was actually just too slow, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. We're okay, we're okay. We gotta go pretty fast here. Nice. Okay, so we did we did end up doing it, but that was a little weird. Okay, is this solid? This is solid. Okay, that is not. Okay, this is though. Wait, there's a secret up there. I want the secret. What's this? Ooh. Okay. Scuffed aerial. It's <laughs> it's super hard to get a follow up on this ball here. I need to set it up well. There we go. Oh. We talked to the wanderer. High atop the mountain, King Chorion or Karion awaits for the prophecy to come to pass. And so it shall be an unlikely shaped hero carrying an unlikely, unlikely shaped, shaped companion that shall bring back joy and light to the kingdom. Okay. You found the key of Mount Kadora. Is this... Where are we now? Did we just, like, skip this area? I wonder what would have happened if we didn't go that way if we would have said there's like a locked area also does this ball touch anything okay interesting all right so we already found the key now we're in the mountain Ooh, i like this it's farther than i thought it was uh oh No, what, wait, was that gravity? I think that like sent me downwards. I'm not going crazy, right? Oh, what the? There's no ball. Talk to Egg of Questionable Sanity. Looks like you lost your friend. He 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 he. I think I might have seen him rolling by. It's just past this door here. I'm going to get trapped in here, aren't I? Oh, cool. So it's like, uh... It's 
like a bit of aerial parkour. Neat. Oh god. <laughs> That's okay. Very, very creative. Holy. I love it. There's two of them. I don't think there were supposed to be two of them. <laughs> Okay, I never realized, but apparently this worm is chasing you. <laughs> Look at it. Oh. Oh my gosh. I never knew that the entire time we went through the playthrough. So yeah, it chases you throughout this cave. Oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> it just shows up out of nowhere. So I didn't know that, but the entire time when I was going through here, you had to be really fast. Because the worm is chasing you. I guess I was just too fast, I didn't even know. It was happening, but yeah, it is it is pretty spooky. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. I didn't I didn't not even realize that was the case. I don't think there were supposed to be two of them. <laughs> Wait, so what's up here? Is supposed to air dribble up here? Yeah, we are, okay. Or I guess a flick. This is pretty close to get a setup like this. I guess the game just wanted me to turn into gainer all of a sudden. That's okay. I got it. Oh, gosh. It's just so tight of a turn here. There we go. Hopefully, I can land with this. Got it. <laughs> is this ground? It is. Am I going this way? Where am I supposed to go? Wait, was there a ramp the whole time? I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm actually unreasonably upset. I did not even see this curve here. I can't say it was the most obvious thing. I was like, this is like, this seems very, very difficult all of a sudden for how it was ramping up. Pun intended, I guess. So where am I going here? It's a bit dark. I guess it's probably just my contrast. Okay, here, I can see this. All right. Now that we found the ramp on the wall, that's really good. Be honest, if you didn't see that either, um, let me know, because I, I, maybe I'm just dumb and can't see that. My, my monitor contrast is pretty, um, pretty low though, so all I saw was a black abyss. No, that'll be a checkpoint soon, right? Right. <gasps> no! There was no warning! There was a flag, but I didn't know what it meant. There we go. Now we gotta remember the next hazard we see, it's gonna be a, a ramp. Oh! Please, checkpoint, save me. Yes. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I see a gap. Very cool. No, I don't know if I can grab it. Oh, I went too fast. Incredible map. I, I, I know I keep praising it, but it is really, really cool. It's such a unique experience compared to any other map we've ever played in a dribble setting like this. I think we could definitely expand upon this in the future too. Oh, okay. You made it to the top and died 69 times. Were there two other keys? Was even credits? 
Yo, lots of tech support. That's awesome. Playtesters inspired by the works of me in that list. That's pretty nice. I appreciate that. It's super, super cool. Um, there's still more to be found. Talk to Coil. Okay. Did you do it? You made it to the top? Then why are you back here? The door was locked. Hmm. Legend has it, has it there are three keys, uh, keys scattered across the land. One in Lake Adrair at the base of the daughter tree. The second rests deep in the Kura forest, directly beneath the ancient temple. Last we found deep within the mountain above a cave of crystals. We found that one. We didn't find the first two. So I actually thought that the, uh, the keys were part of the intentional way to win. So there's a lake somewhere. That's a reset. The daughter tree. So actually I did see a spot um, with the uh, logs that I thought was a little peculiar. Oh, the daughter tree. I see it. There's a tree sitting on top of the lake over there on its own. There's the one. And then we have the uh, the temple over there. Um, it's laid out super nicely. It was right at the beginning and I completely missed it. <laughs> uh, it's awkward. Oh. What? Don't tell me you're supposed to bring the ball over there, right? Oh, I opened it. No! That's all I needed to do? Oh, it's closed again. Oh, no. I should do. You got a key. Nice. Okay, so you got to find... That's the lake one. And then the other one was a temple, right? So that was over... Somewhere over here. It's on the left side of the, the, the mountain. Love the look of the waterfall. Waterfalls in Rocket League are surprisingly hard to make. And this looks actually perfect. So I think what they did was they had the, the water... Um, go in the direction of the waterfall and then they just basically had the waterfall be a slight angle so that the the projection of the the water <laughs> is right there. I wonder if there's anything behind it. Ooh. Who would hide something behind a waterfall? <laughs> exactly, that's too expected. Let's go find the temple. I think it was underneath the temple. But like, how? There's got to be a secret somewhere. Down here? No. Directly beneath the ancient temple. So deep in the forest, there is a... Um... It says deep in the forest. It doesn't mean it's actually in the temple. It means there's an entrance around the temple that goes underneath the temple. So we need to figure out where the entrance is. Okay, here we are. We're at the temple. So let's look around the area and see if we can find an opening. Like somewhere right here makes sense. Oh, yep. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Okay, so it's the gravestone there. Greetings, traveler. You're close to discovering the secret that lies in wait. But be warned, a massive terror lurks in the dark. A beast of immense stature and physical force. A creature we call... Ah, you've already heard that this one? Yes, yes. Gary. Speed is not necessary to get by this time. In fact, quite the opposite boost and the blind beast is alerted take this one slow young traveler and whatever you do don't use your boost okay oh it's actually way closer than i thought it would be no huh. this is so neat I love the the parkour elements of this. It just it just came out of nowhere. Should we see what the beast does?
What happens with it? What happens if I do this? <laughs> I feel like I should I should find out what happens. Ah! What the heck was that? <laughs> I didn't get to see what it was. It disappeared so fast. So if you boost it all in this area, this this thing will eat you from behind the wall. Oh gosh. Okay, so I see. So if you if, so if you if you boost it all, you have to run into that guy. Surely he's not going to be there, right? Ah, nice. This is the final resting place of Queen Atlantis. Oh, uh, Atlantis. She tragically died during complications with the birth of Princess Vatella, leaving King Corian or Corian or Torian, something like that, to raise his daughter on his own. On the day of her death, an oracle prophesies another tragedy and an unlikely hero that will restore order. On the day of her death, an, an oracle prophesies another tragedy and an unlikely hero that will restore order. Oh, I already read that. I'm so stupid. I just read the same thing twice. I thought I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was something different. <laughs> Oh, the door opened. Let's go. There's a cutscene. As you approach the throne, you realize who is sitting on it. The red shell, the cane and hat resting by his feet. Okay, wrong feet, but that's okay. A crown now ador adorning his head. King Corian, you've made it. The ball leaves your side and slowly rolls forward. It begins to crack, revealing, oh no, I was reading too slow. As your eyes readjust, you see a small, beautiful egg where the ball once was. Princess Vitella sits up and stumbles forward, confused and slightly shaken from her journey. She embraces her father and thanks you for bringing her back home. <laughs> Beauty is subjective. <laughs> oh my. You absolute legend. Now do it again, but faster this time. Okay, alright. Interesting. Well, it turns out... I was able to do it. Here are the credits once again. Um, what a wonderful map. Really incredibly done. And I think it's a really cool idea to sort of bring this storyline driven uh, concept uh, instead of just having the levels and stuff. It's really, really cool. Oh, look at this. There's there's Gary, <laughs> the spooky beast. Really cool drawings. I love the, uh, the concept art behind it. I love this credit scene. It's super, super cool to see the progression. Here's some pictures how it started off and how it started to, to grow into what it was um really really incredible job i love the art style the the cartoon poly look and i love the wizard the wizard eggs as well um let's just keep going through this credits here look at it look at it start to transform i love the castle at the top too really well done from everybody involved thanks for uh thanks for creating this for the community it's really really cool to see these kind of things come to fruition i'm sure they're really happy to have it done uh, but there it is. We're back at the beginning. Uh, wonderfully done. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, definitely an interesting one. Uh, definitely give it a try if you want to give it a go for yourself. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.